Welcome back guys. So now we are going to solve the second part of this uh, question because I try to uh, not to um, record the long videos for you. And for the second part, we uh, we solve the part fifth. So now we are going to uh, solve the uh, part uh, six here. Look at here, part six. For the given design node, uh, ND is equal to 800 kN. Determine whether the reinforced uh, concrete column section is tension or the compression failure rate. So, so now let's check it. We are going to make a comparison uh, between uh, the balance actual force this is six part for the balance action force. What is the balance action force? The balance action force and B is equal to 1792.07 kilonewtons. Okay, this is the balance action force. And uh, what is the force is given is ND is equal to 800 kilonewtons. We are going to make a comparison ND equal to 800 kilonewtons, smaller than and B, sorry, yes. Mm. Sometimes I cannot control the pan. And B equal to 1792.07 kilonewton. So reinforced concrete section is tension failure due to this load, okay? So now, Let's uh, check for the part seven and uh, solve it. Estimate the C, the neutral axis, and check that is the compression steel has yielded or not for the given design node, design node and D is equal to 800 kN. So let's make a check. So for this one, part seven, and we are going to write an equilibrium and we are first we are going to assume that assume again the compression steel has yielded and we are going to write the uh, here as an equilibrium but before that i'm gonna take the shape here one second i want it to be here now we have a, a force here as 800 kilonewton okay as the here you can see design load so let's write an equilibrium total fy sorry total sorry uh, total f equal to zero compression concrete plus compression steel minus nd and minus tension steel equal to zero okay Let's write the for the compression concrete. 0.85 multiplied 13.3 multiplied 400 multiplied. I'm going to divide A equal to K1 multiplied C. I'm going to divide uh, this to uh, A into the K1 multiplied C. What is K1? 0.85. Okay. So, and multiplied C plus 1900 multiply 365 and minus 1900 multiply 365 and minus 800,000 Newton as the uh, design load. So now from that equation, I'm going to obtain C as equal to 208.1 millimeter, okay? And the A will be equal to 176.9 millimeter because you know k1 is equal to 0.85 i guess i don't need to tell this one all the time but for someone maybe they couldn't catch and so now we obtained the c and also a value so let's write in uh, compatibility and we are going to determine the compression steel uh, has yielded or not okay so es so epsilon s prime over, look at here, I'm going to show you. For example, this is C, okay? So I need to determine the yield point of the uh, compression steel. So it's going to be compression steel over this length and the uh, epsilon Cu over the C value, okay? So it's going to be something like this. Uh, epsilon S prime over 
c minus d prime okay so what is c let's check 208.1 minus 50 equal to 0 0.003 over c 208.1 and from here i'm going to obtain epsilon s prime equal to 0 0.00227 and this is greater than or epsilon s y and so 0 0.001825 so the compression steel has yielded now also we got it but we have to make a check here again so the check will be something like this To check this value, to check this value, it's going to be check for compression 0 0.72. I'm going to write the formula and then we are going to write the uh, equation. This is going to be modulus of elasticity is sorry for steel. Okay, and multiply the d prime over h. over 0 0.003 multiplied epsilon sorry uh, this is the modulus of elasticity minus f y d and from this let's write the uh, equation o 0.72 multiplied o 0.003 multiplied 200,000 and multiplied 50 over 800 and this is going to be 0.003 multiplied to, to yeah, 200,000 and minus 365.22 from here I'm going to obtain as equal to 0.115 okay and now we are going to uh, make a uh, make a comparison with if the compression has still has yielded it has to be greater than a value of something like that look at here and d over b multiplied h multiplied fcd it has to be greater than or equal to the, uh, the yield point of the uh, so this number that we uh, determine this is the compression steel if it is has yielded okay um, and if it is reverse if it is reverse so n d over b multiplied h multiplied f c d if it is smaller than that compression steel has not yielded so now let's uh, determine the value of that and we are going to make a comparison and if it is okay so that means that the compression steel has yielded so let's determine it it's going to be uh, I am trying to write this formula okay 800,000 the force that we have and 400 and multiplied 800 b, b multiplied h and multiplied 13.3 okay and this will be equal to 0 0.188 and now we got the value and now we are going to uh, make a comparison look at here it is greater than 0 0.115 so the compression steel has yielded now i guess this part is also okay so let's uh, check for the last part and we are going to determine the moments and the calculate the ultimate strength of the moment capacity mr of the reinforced concrete con uh, column section for the given load 800 kN. so we are going to determine the moment moment due to this load that is given so how it's going to be 
there for example this is going to be the part 8 okay and uh, we are going to determine the MR so MR it's going to be something like that we are going to write the compression steel 0.85 multiplied 13.3 multiplied B 400 and multiplied A what is A? A is that we that we now we determine from here okay from due to this load so this is a so let's write it it's going to be uh, 176.9 multiplied uh, 400 minus 176.9 over 2 okay and plus one so 1900 multiplied 365 because the both still are yielded and multiply 350 plus 1900 multiplied 365 and multiplied 350 and from here I'm going to obtain the MR is equal to 734.67 kilo newton okay and also meter so now this is the moment that we uh, define uh, due to that load due to and d is equal to 800 kilonewtons i actually uh, forgot to do something uh, to here we also checked sorry we just checked from the uh, for the top steel okay for the compression steel so you have to uh, make a check for the uh, bottom steel also because sometimes you can see that the bottom steels are not yielded okay so we are going to uh, write in here epsilon s over what is that epsilon s look at here i'm going to show you here epsilon s over this length and epsilon cu over this length okay so it's going to be something like that d what is d 750 minus c what is t 200 or sorry 208.1 equal to 0 0.003 over c okay and from here, I'm going to obtain the uh, epsilon S equal to 0 0.00781. And this is greater than uh, epsilon SY equal to 0 0.001825. So, so it is yielded. Okay, now we also obtain that. So let's continue the uh, part 9. And we are going to uh, make a check, okay? Make a check. So let's uh, look at uh, part nine. Check the moments whether MR greater than MD for the design verification, and also apply the moment MD six hundred kilonewton meter and MD one thousand so uh, twelve hundred kilonewton meter. So we are going to make a comparison that they are in the safe zone or in the uh, failure zone, okay? So, our moment is this one, okay? So, what is the MD? MD is given. They just, for example, there is a moment here. So, they say 600 kilonewton meter and the moment MD, one, 100, what, sorry, 1200 kilonewton meter as the moment. So, if it is, so look at this one. We are going to uh, make a comparison for the first one. It is smaller than 734.67 kilonewton meter. So it is safe zone. Because if you remember that, we have, uh, if it is smaller than this value, this the moment can be carried by this cross section. So it is safe zone. Due to the actual load is 800 kilonewton. So if this is the sorry, this is greater than 734.67 kilonewton meter. So it is failure zone. Now also we did it. So now I guess we are going to uh, make the. Uh, check all the necessary requirements okay due to uh, for some spe spe uh, sorry specifications of the turkey ts500 and the t uh, 
TCS, okay? So, for the 10th part, it's going to be, for example, B, the width of the uh, column is 400 millimeter, right? In our question, it's 400 millimeter. It cannot be, it cannot be smaller than, smaller than 250 millimeter. Okay? It cannot be smaller than 250 millimeter. And uh, for example, the area of steel, sorry, the area of the uh, cross-section, okay, the area of the cross-section, uh, it has to be uh, greater than 75,000 millimeter square. And this is going to be uh, smaller than and D over 0.75 multiplied FCK. And this is going to be smaller and equal to the area of uh, cross section. So now, what is the area of the cross section for our uh, section? It's 400 multiplied 800, and it's equal to 320,000 millimeters square, right? And now, our cross section. Our cross section is much more uh, bigger than this value is, but we are going to make a check for this one. For this one, it's going to be something like that. It's going to be uh, 800 over 0.75 multiplied 20, and this is going to be equal to 80,200 millimeter square, okay? So now, for this one, we did our check, and look at here, is 320,000 greater than 800,200, so it's, and this is the greater than 75,000 millimeter square, okay? So now, the area of the cross section is okay. So let's uh, check for the minimum, uh, minimum ratio of steel. This is the minimum ratio of steel. Okay, this is the minimum ratio of steel. It's smaller than the ratio of steel. Smaller than the, uh, the maximum ratio of steel. This is the max. This is the min. So, let's calculate for the, um, the ratio of steel our, for our cross-section. The total steel area, what is that? 1900 plus 1900 over 400 multiplied 800 equal to 0 0.0118 and look at here 0 0.01 smaller is yes smaller than 0 0.0118 and smaller than 0 0.04 due to TS 500 and TCS, okay, and the minimum, the minimum, the minimum, uh, minimum diameter of the uh, bars, the rebars, has to be greater than five fourteen, okay. So five fourteen, smaller than five, sorry five twenty two, so it's also okay, due to TS five hundred and TCS, okay. So now we did all the requirements uh, for this uh, cross section. Now we can uh, see that the, our cross section is, is okay. So now the question is solved. If you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. If I did anything wrong, please comment. I'm going to try to fix it. See you for the next question.